Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Friday to you all. Hopefully your week is wrapping up nicely, or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully having a great day. Nonetheless, last time around with Mr. Rocky, he really said, let me introduce myself, and boy did he introduce himself. But now he is back with a brand new era. I'm going to be checking out the title track, titled Jealousy. Made sure I spelled it right. Um... Yeah, genuinely, last time around with Lucky Rocky was one of the coolest listening experiences I've had with the K-pop release, just because I didn't listen to a whole lot of Astro. Really, I didn't listen to really any Astro um, before last year. And by the time I really started kind of like slowly working my way through um, Astro, Rocky had already left the group, and he'd already made a solo debut. And I mean, boy, did he make an impact statement on his solo debut, but I didn't know what he was capable of. I was like, essentially, the only Rocky I knew was Jinjin and Rocky subunit. That's it. So last time around was a big culture shock. A very enjoyable one, but a culture shock nonetheless. Now what has he brought to the table this time? I have no idea, actually. Um, based on the thumbnail and the fact that we're starting off nighttime, I'm guessing it's going to be not as bright as Lucky Rocky was. But that's all I'm going to say. Let's just send it one time. Here we go! Righty, oh, jealousy. I'm so excited for this. Because, like, he definitely garnered my attention just off of the choreography on display. But Lucky Rocky, for me, it was the fun factor. It was the attitude of it all. It was just so enjoyable. Plus, it had a brass section. It had a saxophone. And I'm not going to complain about a cheeky saxophone, am I? So... Are we going to get more of that? Let's find out. Boop. Ignore the fact that I missed the space bar the first time. Thank you, it's a driving beat! Oh my god, yes! I wasn't want to say anything until we figured out what the pace of the song was going to be. Now that it's been established, yes. Again, whenever he moves on camera in the choreos, my attention just in, in terms of K-pop idols, him, one us is Juan Moon are like some of the most strongest on-screen presences in choreo. It's high, hold on a second. This song's really high. Cheeky flip. Oh my god. It's terrific. Oh my, and it just naturally locks back in. It's amazing how much camera presence he has, and stage presence. Unbelievable. But, like, musically, he is not afraid of going just to the extremes. Because we've got super high vocals, we've got the drawn-out vocals, we've got some quick vocals, we've got a really widespread, but all of it is powerful.
It's the synth pop meets cyberpunk aesthetic. I love both of them, but we put them together. It's enchanting the high sections in the chorus. Oh. Oh. Rocky's this jealousy trail off at the end got a little bit of extra sauce on it. Now that it's just the um, instrumental section on its own, you feel that kind of cyberpunky synthesizer movement. Oh, he is very much impressing me. Oh, my goodness. Look, Lucky Rocky was so much fun last time around. I I don't even remember when I watched it, but I had so much fun. And he made it fun. Jealousy, exactly the same. Listening to it is so much fun, but he makes this so fun to listen to. It's got that... Oh, I'm amazed at how well his voice suits this. Because sonically, keep in mind... I didn't check out the B-sides from Rocky's debut, just for time constraints and stuff. This sonically is entirely different to Lucky Rocky. And yet, he just slots in like he never left. <laughs> and look, I am coming at this from a biased point of view because I love the genre of music this is taking. I am a sucker for a good synth pop song. I'm an even bigger sucker for a retro synth slash cyberpunky type song. This is both in one. With the tremendous vocals that Rocky's delivering on top of it? Bruh. Bruh is all I can say to that. And it's such an enjoyable experience. My goodness. Go again. Go again. At the beginning, I made the comment about thank you for the driving beat kicking in. This kind of reminds me of, um, well, if we're talking stylistically, this kind of retro synthy cyberpunky type of song, there's a couple ways you can go about it. Rocky's Jealousy goes with that driving beat immediately. Sometimes you get a more subdued, almost skipping beat. In the case of, you know, Taman's Criminal, you don't get that driving beat right off rip. That You get it drip-fed to you, and then you get it in the full release in the chorus. Like, it's, you get that beat there. With Jealousy, you've got that synth establishing that main rhythm, and it's quick. But that doesn't mean it's going to be that type of beat the entire time. You can't pass judgment this early in the song yet with this type of music. And it's that kind of mystique of it all. It's like, okay, where are you going to cook? Where are you going to go with this? Are you going to cook right away? And you almost want to jump the gun. It's like, yes, we have a nice pace since song. Not always the case. We've got that hi-hat building. It should be more prominent. Now we got the beat kicking in, it's just... And the thing about the song that really sells it for me, it's, it's sharp. Not tonally. Not 
in terms of like, I mean, the choreo is very sharp as well, but it's not like the notes are pitched too high. The, especially in the rhythm, everything is sharp and concise, and it's like surgically precise when they happen and how they happen. Take, for example, the kind of almost triangle hits that we're going to get here. They're very sharp on the ears. They're very prominent. The snare hits, very sharp, very precise. The kind of rhythm that Rocky uses in the vocal line, very sharp and very precise. Everything about this sharp song is sharp and precise. <laughs> Do that spin again. And the fact that it's that, I, I know it's like you're not always going to get that choreo, but it's the spin tied in with the high note as he spins back up and then just whoa, radiates out. Wow, what a visual, what a pairing. Again, sharp hits, sharp fill coming into this chorus. Sharp, concise. It's really cool that, you know, post-course, it's almost like Rocky's vocals are dancing as well as Rocky the artist is dancing. Oh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. He is one hell of a performer, ain't he? And it's like... It is partially due to me just not really diving into Astro uh, back in the day, but he is just impressing me every single time now. And, you know, he had an OST earlier this year too, which was also really good, but there is something about just Rocky's solo stuff. Well, I guess two for two in terms of Rocky's solo stuff now, like Lucky Rocky and Jealousy. That has been so exquisite, so tremendously well done, and it's very me coded, which may also just be the signal telling like this is essentially Rocky's way of saying, "Yo, you like my music so much, check out the rest of it. I might have to at this rate. I just need to figure out a schedule for it because this month sucks in terms of scheduling for me, but you know what. We might be onto a winner once again. Rocky, Rocky, you impressive human being. You impressive artist, you. Oh. But anyways, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day-to-day. -day and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be. Even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend ally and a shoulder to lean out whenever you need me so take care of yourselves take care of each other spread the love and i'll oh excuse me and i'll see you next time bye bye